Welcome back to Green Bee Explorer. Today I'm going to show you a little secret spot in Michigan that not many people know about. Before we went off on our adventure, we had to grab a quick coffee and then get on the road. As we made our way to our destination, the entrance was closed, but we found another road. This was a single lane dirt road that we found. Had no signs, we had no idea where it took us. We kind of Google mapped it and it looked like it was going to take us to our destination, so we took a chance. And as we drove, it got thinner and thinner and thinner and a little bit more rugged. Thank goodness we had a Jeep. Comment below, would you chance and drive down this road? Luckily, the clearing in the distance brought us to our destination. After that little off-trail experience, we made it to the dunes. Now this is a little portion, but what you would do is, see that dune out there? You follow it all the way over, take this trail. So this trail you take all the way over and then you get to the lake beyond that. Look, that's the lake over there, and it's a very windy day, and it looks like an ocean. <laughs> oh gosh, she's not even <laughs> There we go. Are you having fun? <laughs> she is having a ball on the sand. <laughs> Welcome to North Bar Lake. Very similar to the Sleeping Bear Dunes, which is another destination you have to try, but it's a little bit smaller, a little bit more secluded, and extremely peaceful.
socks barefoot or certain sandals because you will just collect sand like crazy oh, inside your sneaker and I can't get it all out it's inside my sock everything <laughs> next location I'm going to show you is Mountain Village. Definitely a place you, you want to visit. Our next stop will be the town of Leland, also known as Fishtown. walking down to Fishtown. It's a little fishing dock pier. I'm gonna show you it. little bit of maintenance right now but we still have this side to go. One of the best times to visit up here is during the summer. Oh my gosh look at that water! Like there's a little little shops back there. It's better to visit May through October. They tend to do a lot of their maintenance during the fall and into the winter time. But that doesn't mean there isn't anything to do or see. There's something coming up next that I really want to show you.
This is one of my favorite places to get wine. It's called Volterra. Next stop, Northern Latitudes Distillery and their tastings are free. Good, how about you? All the tastings were great, but my favorite was the brandy and the lemon cello. Oh my goodness, delicious. The next town we'll be driving to is Sutton's Bay. This one we didn't stop at, but I still recorded to show you the town while we drove through. slightly out of town to hop lot and there's a huge outdoor area they play music they have the fire going and inside we wanted to stop in and eat here but unfortunately because we had a dog we couldn't so we had to find another spot Back in Traverse City, we ended up stopping at Bubba's, and oh my gosh, is this place good. While enjoying your ice cream on the deck, you can watch the cows, but then also watch them make the ice cream. When in Traverse City, don't forget to stop by Moomers. They had a ton of flavors that I had a hard time picking, but in the end, I chose three different flavors and I could not have been happier. Keep following to see more about Traverse City. I've already posted a few episodes before this, and a few more are gonna follow this one.